It's been several days and Michael Jackson remains dead. Despite this, we are keeping up hope that our 24-hour, round-the-clock coverage of all things MJ will somehow resuscitate him. I do believe in pop stars. I do, I do, I do believe in pop stars. Now, a lot of people out there have asked me to make a video criticizing the media for their non-stop coverage of all things Michael. But I don't really want to do that, because you see, I don't watch CNN. The only time I see CNN is when I go out to a public place and they have TVs that are playing CNN or Fox News or one of those channels. That's the only time that I see all this Michael Jackson coverage. When I'm going to my online news sources, like the Huffington Post, or the Drudge Report, or Google News, or Alternet. I don't see too much Michael Jackson coverage there, so it doesn't really bother me. If you want to see news, then you shouldn't be watching CNN in the first place, because they gave up and became the tabloid channel a long time ago. Don't even get me started on Fox. Now, MSNBC, they're all right for a cable news channel, but still, you could do better just opening your web browser and going to one of the many, many news sites all across the internet. Some of the sites have a liberal slant, some of them have a conservative slant. I recommend reading them all. But, you know, I have a theory about why all the cable news channels are covering Michael Jackson so very much. Why they have spent more than a week covering him nearly 24 hours out of every day. I don't think they are mourning the death of Michael Jackson, the man, and I don't think that they are mourning the death of Michael Jackson, the celebrity, or the pop star, or the child molester, or the hero, or whatever he is to you. I don't think they're mourning any of that. I think they are mourning the death of the best damn story of the last 20 years. They're mourning the death of their default, because think about it, whenever the news didn't have anything else to cover, they could always rely on Michael Jackson, because they knew that he would get people to tune in. And if a newspaper's sales were lagging, they knew they could just print a story about Michael Jackson and send those sales right back up. When you have someone who was a black man in the 80s, and looked like a white woman in the 90s, that's gonna be a story by itself. But when everything he does is just so bizarre, of course it's going to interest people. You know, this is a person who sold millions upon millions of albums. He has the best-selling album of all time. And he's so damn weird. He got a creepy pet monkey, and he wears surgical masks, and he dangles babies off of ledges, and he gets accused of child molestation, and he has a theme park in his backyard, and, it, you know, it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. It's the most fascinating story of our age. There have been a lot of wealthy, eccentric figures throughout American history, and we've been fascinated with all of them but none of them have ever been quite as eccentric as Michael Jackson, at least not so obviously so. So I think that the news is lamenting the death of their best story, because they could always cover him when it was a slow news day. He was always up to some sort of wacky-ass shenanigans, so they could cover him, and you would watch, and I would watch, and we would all watch, and we might complain that this isn't really news, but we were still watching. But as far as network news is concerned, CNN can change their name to the Michael Jackson channel and cover him until the end of time, for all I care. Because I haven't looked to them to see the news for freaking years.